we're the girls from Kukla's Cuisina. I'm Joanne. I'm Jackie. And I'm Kelly. And we're back again now. We're going to show you uh, medicinal values. And today we're going to show you about garlic and how wonderful garlic is to help you with your cold, to help you with the flu. And it's a it's, natural detox. It is. It's an antimicrobial and antibacterial. So uh, for generations um, in Greece and on the islands and um, even in Italy, like lots of cultures know garlic for its medicinal value. Right. So basically, um, you can eat it raw or you can eat it roasted or cooked any way you like to have it. It doesn't lose its potency. Uh, our mom always liked it raw. So at, when she would feel a cold coming on, she'd eat it That's raw. Right. And then, what we're going to do is show you a really delicious way to detox your body, to get that cold moving out of you quickly um, by roasting it. And we're going to go on to show you how to do garlic bread. First of all, this is how you're going to take a whole head of garlic. See? And you're going to take the papery layer off the outside, not the skin, just the paper. Just the paper. See, down the here is the outside. skin, but the papery layer we want off, right? Jackie, you've had garlic. Your mom makes I've garlic had. for you. So my mom will make me um, the garlic bread that we're about to show you how to make. And um, it's really delicious, great for kids. I think kids would like it. Um, once it's cooked and ready to go, it spreads on like butter, so it's a really great way to um, help your kids feeling better. It's like garlic knots, right? Yeah. It is, and it's so easy to do. It takes a little while because you have to, you do have to roast it. Does that help you with your colds? Yeah, I usually feel better with, um, in one to two days. Um, and it's a good way That's to do it. You don't have to take gross medicine. I know a lot of kids don't like medicine. Um, and I'm more of an all-natural herbal remedy type of person, so this is a great way to do that. So you want to have a sheet of foil. You're going to preheat your oven. Um, what do we have? 400 degrees? About 400 degrees, because this is going to take a little while in the oven, so you want to have some high I'm heat I'm not sure on about it. the temperature. We have to check but, on that. But the recipe is on the website on our blog. So what you want, first want to do is you want to cut the top of the, the head off so you can expose the clove. Right. So don't, don't worry about cutting too much, because you could save this part too. But this is what we always do. You can do. add these cut pieces to salad or whatever. Right. So now, if you save pull those. that up and pull it up close so, so everyone can see that. There you go. So, see, that's what's, what it's going to look like. And then so we're going to just it lay it on here. Lay it on there. And now you want to do some oh, olive oil. You're going to so drizzle so olive oil. Hold on to the cloves so it doesn't get in there. Yeah. yeah there so we that go. all the so cloves are now covered with olive oil. Around so you can see all the cloves are covered in olive oil. So next we want to do, we want to put a little bit of salt on there. Okay. And Jackie, maybe a little, can you do, do a little pepper, pepper for me? There. Okay, so now you're going to wrap it in the foil real, really tight. So what I like to do is just pull these two together and then fold down so that it makes a nice seal. And then you pull up the sides. It's kind of like a little perch. And that seals it all in so that when it's cooking in, in the oven, when it's baking, all the vapors and everything are going to stay inside and that's going to help to roast it even better and it's going to have this wonderful roasted flavor. You're going to be smelling it while it's roasting. You're going to yeah. be in heaven. So we're going to put that in the oven. Depending on the size of the head that you use, it could be anywhere from like 30 minutes to an hour. Um, and also the temperature of your oven, every oven is different. So you want to check it at some point to see if it's softened yet. As soon as it's soft to the touch, then you know that it's ready. So we're going to put this in the oven. We're going to come back and then show you how to do the garlic bread. See you in a bit. Hi, we're back. And so now you can see what our garlic looks like after we've roasted it. And it's going to, it's nice and soft. You'll be able to squeeze the clo the garlic right out of the cloves. Right, which that's is exactly what is. we want to do. And mm -hmm. that's the whole point of this healing. So okay. we have, you could get a French baguette, you could get some Italian bread. You can get a Greek loaf that has sesame on it, whatever kind of bread that you like. Yeah, whatever you like. So we're going to cut this right now here, and we're going to make ourselves some garlic bread. You want to be really careful when you're slicing your bread. Cut it right down the middle. And we're going to separate it. And what we also like to do before we start putting ingredients on it or even putting it in the oven is to give it a score and every, you know, periodically, you know, as, as you would want to eat it. Yeah, like you figure a slice size. So not all the way down, but about 
two thirds of the way down. Two thirds of the way down. This is going to help you also to cut it when it comes out of the oven because once you broil it, it gets really crisp, and then when you try to cut it, it just breaks apart and makes a mess. Right. So now that we've scored our bread, oops, cut that one off. Okay. Now we're going to put. So start with the olive oil. So just. And you could sprinkle it. You could. You can. Uh, Brush it on if you like to brush it on. Okay. Okay, next you want to put the garlic. Now we're going to watch how we smush this out of here. Okay, so it's all according to taste. You like more garlic? Right. Use more. You could do anything from two to four cloves, so depending on the size of the cloves, too. You squeeze it out. And then we're going to use a spatula to push it all around. Let me grab a spatula. And as you can see, like the garlic is soft like butter, so it's really easy to spread. And, and it really, it, it literally just squeezes it, it out. It squeezes right out of the skins. And you can see that nice roasted. See, we also have like, we have a small head that we use. So we can use pretty much the whole thing on these two pieces of bread. But when I've done it for Jackie, you know, on, on some toast, yeah, I use a head like this, uh -huh. and it makes two of them, two toasts for her. Really? Yeah. And she eats it all up. Right, Jack? It's so good. That's it. See, now I've squeezed it's out all, all of my garlic. You missed a clove. You can't miss a clove. So you want to spread that out all the way to the edges so all of the bread is covered with the garlic. Okay, so then next we're going to take a little bit of oregano. Just drizzle that over as much of oregano as you like. We garlic like oregano. Bread, oregano is like when you're making garlic bread, it's so good. You guys want to grab some and do the other slice? Sure. And there's medicinal value to this oregano oh, too. Oh, there's antioxidants and... Um, it's a great digestive. It's good for the stomach. We have a whole blog on. We do, and all of this all information of this. is going to be included on is included on this blog as well. So the next thing we want to do is do a little salt. So okay. I'm going to sprinkle with some salt lightly. When you're when you're using salt, try and go up high because then you cover more of your surface without okay. getting too so much. Just in lightly spot. with some pepper. And this is going to be ready now to go into the broiler. It's going to take about a minute or two, depending on your broiler. Right. Um, you want it to get nice and golden brown around the edges and light golden in the center. And you will smell it. Yes. <laughs> it's been really, really good. And so we'll be back to show you what it looks like. We'll be like. back. And here we are with some amazing broiled garlic bread. You're going to love this. Enjoy. Caliotic Sea. Caliotic Sea.